Hello everybody, this is your weatherman here again with another episode of the Ants Underground Kingdom. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through our strategy for maximizing our points during the Groundhog event. Now the Groundhog event uh, is, uh, it, it is similar to the Pangolin event, uh, but it, it, it's fundamentally different because there are groundhogs all over the place. You don't just set uh, one groundhog per alliance, so... The groundhogs are all over the map. You can attack whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. They'll uh, each give you the same points. Um, the pangolin, you pretty much have to put in the middle of your alliance and everybody hits the same point. Uh, why am I bothering with this much discussion about the difference between pangolin and the groundhog? Well, what we have found is the best way to maximize your points um, for the peng or for the uh, ground this groundhog event here is to find your top five damage producing members in your alliance, find a very remote groundhog, and have the five of you teleport around that groundhog and have one person lead the charge. Basically, have one person lead the rally. And have the other four uh, join that rally. Now, in this case, um, I've got my hill um, leading the rally. And that's because my rally center is completely leveled up. So it's, it's all the way up to 25%. So that means anybody that joins my rally should have a 25% attack boost. Um, I'm, I have also switched over to Raider class so that my pro, I'm only running my pro army, so they get a 25% attack boost. I'm uh, running my attack boost, the 20% uh, item uh, that you can get, you know, through various means. Um, you know, sometimes you win it as a prize. Uh, you know, I, sometimes the shop offers it, I think. Um, or sometimes you might be able to get get it off your guild page too. Um, but at any rate, um, I'm also running Groundhog Restraint. And um, since this, this is, you know, part of the SVS event, I'm uh, running with a strawberry, a 100% strawberry active at all times. And if you've watched my previous videos, I, I always, I always go in on that 99 cent per week thing that gives you a 50% uh, raspberry strawberry, whatever, boost. Um, so I've, I've basically got a 150% point boost between those two. And then the attack bonuses from uh, my pro unit running as a raider class, um, my, my top, my friends all around me get a 25% boost from my rally center. And hopefully they're also uh, running, um, you know, they're their pro unit, their pro um, march unit um, from, with their raider class as well to get uh, those benefits. And, you know, with those boosts, with the high damage output, we have found that um, our collectively working together, uh, we get a much higher score when we have our best attacking troops all together in one, uh, in one raid in one rally uh, versus having random people join your rally. So what I would recommend is, if you can, if, if you are one of the top five scorers in your group, I would go ahead and organize, uh, you know, your, your top five folks to, you know, right after server, uh, right after the server changeover, agree on a time. We usually do uh, something like 0045 to 1 uh, UTC or Zulu. Um, we group up. We're all ready to go. And as soon as I hit rally, they all join in and they hit. And I believe you get 20 hits on the groundhog. So you can do this all within one 100% strawberry or raspberry range if you are well organized, if you're um, group is all together and you're ready to go uh, because there, there will hardly be any travel time from their uh, anthills to yours. And so you don't have to sit there and wait for five minutes for each rally for people to get to your anthill just so you can run one rally. Um, now the, the groundhog, 
I believe it's going to take your top five scores, similar to the Pangolin. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I, I think the top five scores from each anthill uh, are what is going to be applied to your uh, individual standing uh, and to your guild's uh, ranking, uh, you know, in, in the in the Groundhog event. Now, the Groundhog event, it, it's SVS, so um, you, you know, you shouldn't be up against every server, um, I don't know how they break it up, but in, you know, in a 50 server group or whatever they do for the pangolin, uh, you, you should be just, you're, you know, you're competing, I guess, individually, you're competing, um, as an alliance against all the other alliances on your server and all the alliances on the enemy server. Uh, but all of your points contribute to all of the alliances on your server. So you're competing against them and, you know, just for for some rewards, but in you know, just for winning the SVS event, you're also helping uh, greatly helping your alliance uh, beat the other alliance uh, during this event as well. So again, you can see right now I'm I'm ranked number one. You can see the prize ranking for being the individual number one uh, gives you uh, 50 of those groundhog buffs, which is awesome. Uh, one, especially once you've uh, once you've run out of them, you get to keep them, turn them into generic uh, stuff, and that can help boost your skin, uh, your skin level uh, around your anthill. Uh, so I hope this uh, brief tutorial helped. These are the best practices that one of my teammates came up with, and it's really worked out well for us. So get those pods together, make sure everybody is a raider, and kick some groundhog butt. This is your weatherman signing off.